G'day everyone, Be Agent Dad here. We're going to do the unboxing and review of this Lenovo Hybrid USB-C with USB-A dock. Now I will be also checking this computer, how it goes with the Mac, and if it can do dual screen or even triple screen there, it would be fantastic. And of course, I'll be putting timestamps along this video so you can actually skip to the different sections that you may be interested in. So let's first unbox this dock first, and I've always got my good old trusty knife here. So let's bring that out. And it's pretty easy, it's just got one slip here, so that's nice and easy. And let's just bring this out here. And there we go. So let's see what's in this package here. Let's go bring this up here. So we've got good old documentation, we don't need that. We've got a good old power button, sorry, power cord here. And of course it's free pong, which is great. So put that aside. And what else have we got here? We've got the power adapter here. And what is this one here? We've got C. It is a 135 watt power adapter. It's fantastic. This comes with, we've got a USB-C cable. And let's just have a quick look what this has got. I can see there's a USB-A adapter as well. So two USB type C, so one on each end. And of course the power adapter will then be able to go from USB-C to a USB-A. So you just plug that in. So that's a quite a neat adaption I've got to admit. So that's pretty good. And it's nice and thick, I can see from here. Well, let's see how long that is. And we'll come see how long really that is as well too. So let me see if I can bring that out and just unwind this. It's interesting this actually got a very nice thick cable there, so you can actually use, reuse that if you really wanted to. It's not one of the skinny ones, that's fantastic to see. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good length. That's nearly a, a meter length. That's fantastic, I like that. Meter length is good, so definitely that's very useful because I find sometimes a lot of these cables are very short. So that's fantastic to see. Then we've got the dock itself. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. Let's sweep all these links and let's um, box this thing here so let's just try and find this see here and I can straight away see it's got display link so this is a display link so it's going to be very universal and I have very good hopes on that because I have done sorry I'm gonna have issues with trying to get through this paper here I will do my best to try and get through it it's got a bit sticky here I have done uh, another dock which is the D6000 and that is a universal dock as well and it does have D-Link display as well too which is sorry display link as well which is fantastic because it's very universal so you can plug to this to a lot of other computers now it actually uses the own software encoding so it does run the CPU a little bit but it does make it very universal which is great to see let's have a look at the ports on the dock starting on the front of the dock we on the left hand side we've got the USB type C port and that's USB 3.2 gen 2 and then we have a type A port now that's USB 3.2 gen 2 port as well and then we have the oil combo jack or the headphone jack you can call it looking on the right hand side of the dock we have the security lock slot for your Kensington locks so you can tie this dock down looking on the back side of a dock starting on the left hand side we've got two USB 2.0 ports and then we've got two full size display ports and they are version 1.2 and then we got two HDMI ports and that is version 1.4b. I also want to mention that the display port and the HDMI port above each other are sharing the same channel. So these two share the same channel and these two share the same channel and you see that by the markings on the dock. So you only can use one of these two, you can't use both in the same time. So we should only be able to do dual monitors. After that we've got two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which is type A ports, and the top one has PowerShare. And then we've got the Ethernet port, which is Gigabit. And then we've got the Thunderbolt port, or it's not really Thunderbolt, it's USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. And this is where you actually plug it into the computer. So that's where this little doovie, <laughs> doovie, it's a cable. You plug it in here and that's the one. Now make sure you do plug it into this one and not this one because it will be the one that actually powers your computer as well. And of course that's where you plug in the power adapter right here too. And then we've got the 
uh, power button on top and there's nothing on the other side here so that's kind of what it looks like that's just a quick overview of what this dock is we're going to test out the lenovo hybrid usb-c dock with a macbook pro now this is the 2018 version of a macbook pro with the touch bar and it is still running on catalina i haven't updated to big spur yet i'm just waiting for a little bit of time before i update to big spur but we're going to see if this is able to drive two monitors extended mode would be fantastic now i've got it connected to a few ports at the moment so i've got the ethernet port i've got a usb keyboard and usb mouse connected as well and i've got a display port monitor now this is a full hd display port monitor and this one here is connected by hdmi port now this one's a usb c port monitor as well and at the moment i will test it in all the free conditions so let's first off connect this dock to the macbook pro and let's see how we go so i'm just using the usb-c port of course and of course this has only got usb-c so we'll connect it up now I have installed the display link drivers in there so you do need to boot up the display link manager or it will not work because without the display link drive manager like for example as you can see i've actually got three monitors going at the moment the built-in screen and the display port and the hdmi port which is great and it looks to be in extended mode let's just have a quick look so i'm just going to arrangement and i definitely see this in arrangement so that's definitely in extended mode which is great so i'm just going to quickly just show that to the rest so left right fantastic that is in extended mode and I'm just going to quickly, while I'm at it, I'm just going to test out if this, I put the lid down. Now I have installed the display link login adapter in there as well. So I'm just going to try and wake that up. So let's see how that goes. Oh, we'll wake it up, which is great. So, and is that still in extended mode? Yes, it is in extended mode still. Great stuff in that. And unfortunately, the <laughs> built-in screen is still on. Uh, so you might have to, but of course the easy way is just to move which one's the primary is by that little menu bar on top so you can actually tell this is the main screen here. Alright, that is just the, the same. Now I'm just going to try one thing and that is the power button while I'm at it. So I'm just going to boot that down, let's press to see what it does. Will it do anything? Nope, the power button does not do anything for the Mac. Nothing at all. One of actually turn it off or go to sleep so that doesn't do anything. Oh, it's doing something now. What has it done? Or it could be a massive delay in what it does. I'm just gonna lift the lid up just to see it's still awake anyway. So it hasn't really done anything. It just went to sleep a little bit. That's pretty much it. I will shut it down and we'll try and boot it up to see if that power button will thing it. But we're first gonna quickly see at the moment, I do have the HMI port plugged in for this monitor here. So I'm just gonna take out the HMI port plug in its display port all right we've got that plugged in so of course hdmi i'm just going to quickly switch this to display port go up to display port and we'll see how that runs and we'll just see yep it's still working there in display port mode so that's two display ports there and i can probably not in the right arrangement at the moment so i've just got to fix that up so what do we got here one middle Second one and on the right. Oh, I'm just going to do that. So if I go right here, so it is going all the way to there. I've just got to fix the arrangement. That's pretty much it. But it is working all three monitors, which is great. So I'm going to now try the USB C. So that's this one here. This is a USB C monitor here. So I'm just going to take the display port out for this monitor here, plug in the USB C in here and see what that comes up with and i'm going to switch this to usb-c as well too so let's just do that okay usb-c let's have a little go do we get anything from there no it does not do anything at all from there so usb-c is a no-go so it only does display port or hdmi and again they do share the same channel so say for example i'm going to plug in the HDMI port and I'm going to put it on both on channel one so both on one above each other as you can see just plug this one above each other let's see what happens there will it will it be able to work or not and I'll just quickly switch this to HDMI we'll switch this one to HDMI now these are both full HD displays 
and what do we get? I don't see it at all in the arrangement. So definitely they do share the same ports, the one and the two, as I said before, when I did the ports, describing the ports. So that's just to get let you know about that there. Now I'm gonna shut this computer down and see if we can actually get the computer to boot up using the power button. So we'll see that mirror. But before then, of course you can see the keyboard and mouse is working. So that's kind of good. And I've got the mouse working there and I can definitely tell you from the networks, let's go to the networks, network preferences. And I do see the ethernet port right here, which is great to see. So we have got ethernet and it is charging the computer as well. Now this is able to charge 90 watts to the computer. So it will support the 13 inch and the 16 inch MacBook Pros and 15 inch MacBook Pros as well. So you'll be able to do all three MacBook Pros, which is great to see. And we're just gonna shut this down and see if we can boot this up with the powder button. So let's just shut this computer down. So I've got the MacBook Pro shut down. I'm actually gonna close the lid and I'm going to try and use just the power button to see if we can we'll turn the computer on. So I'm just gonna just press it once. I'm hoping that'll work. The power button is still a white LED light. I don't really hear anything. I don't see anything going on at the moment as well. So I don't think it's very hopeful at the moment that it may not power it up. No, it has not powered up as you can see. So I'll just press with the lid open. I'll just see if I can turn that on. Oh, it has actually turned it on, which is great. So that's able to turn it on when this computer is with the lid open. I'm actually gonna shut this thing down again and see if we can get this thing booted up with the lid closed. I've got the MacBook shut down a second time. I'm just gonna close the lid again and we will try and boot this thing up. I'm gonna give this a nice good press there. I'm pretty sure I pressed that. That was a pretty long press there. So I'm just seeing if we're gonna get anything from the display at all. I might just give it a few more seconds before I will have a look at it. But at the moment, I don't see any change. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything at the moment. So I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give, lift up the lid. No, it has not worked. So you do need to have the lid open for this power button to work. So let's, I've just pressed it a second time, yeah. So it does need to have the lid open for the power button to actually work there. Now, while I'm at it, I might as well tell you that you do need to have the display link manager turned on or open that software. Without that, that will not drive any external screens at all. Hope you find this video informative or even just to support my channel, smack that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.